guys, Brenda here with RV Outdoors Northwest and today is dump day. You saw in the previous video, I hooked us up for the first time myself. We're here in Spokane, Washington, Airway Heights and a Mavericks and we are going to dump, I am going to dump us today. I've never done this before so I've always found myself very busy during this time inside doing something else <laughs> and Rich has always done this but I need to know how to do it and today's the day even though it's super windy out and there's a lot of noise going on around us but uh, we're gonna get to dumping first thing you do put on disposable gloves next thing you do get out the stinky slinky your sewer hose The end with the hooks goes to the trailer. Okay, so then, assuming we gotta turn it. Woo! <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I know. That's okay. Is pretty tight it's a snug fit because you don't want it flopping around so I was doing it too light Rich showed me how to do it and it's just super tight tight fit so you want this locked in like that it's just the same but opposite and you gotta get it on there really tight as well oh I got it there see that's on tight I like it okay like that okay so we've got two colors here there's the gray and then we've got the black one over here and so obviously gray tank black tank so uh, what we like to do I should say Rich has taught me to do is that we're gonna pull the gray tank first just for a quick couple of seconds as a test you don't want to test with the black tank that's that's not good so if we're gonna have a leak I just assume it'd be the gray so we're just gonna go boom pull oh I can hear it going and in yep that's all the way in we don't have any leaks looks pretty good then we're gonna go over here make sure we got good caption here <laughs> we do Now we're going to pull the block. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Whew. Okay, well that's dumping. Let's talk about this. We have the sandy flush, which is really a nice feature to be able to do when you have water available at your dump station. Um, you can put your hose on there, turn it on, and it's gonna, it's got a sprinkler in there, and it just kind of cleans the whole tank out, gets a little scrubby job going on, and you can let that run. We've let it run, how long, babe? One to two minutes. One to two minutes. Now, we would normally do this any flush right now. We don't have a bunch of people backed up behind us. We've got a lot of time here today, but the problem is, it's winter time in Spokane and they have turned off their water. So you always want to be prepared for that scenario that you pull up somewhere and they don't have water to do that kind of flush. The other thing you can do and what we will do, Rich put on board um, a couple gallons of water and then we also still have some water in our holding tank. So what we're going to do, go inside and we're actually going to put water down the toilet and get more water in there and do another flush and probably another one if we can. And, uh, but I, we're gonna check on the hose right now. Okay, so we closed the black tank, we're inside now and we're gonna dump in a couple more gallons of water here. <laughs> a couple more gallons of water here just to continue doing a flush. Okay, 
Okay, so we got a couple gallons put back in the, the black tank there. I also turned the pump on and put my foot on the, the pedal and filled it with even more water. So we've got three or four gallons in there now. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the black tank again and flush it this last time. Okay, so black tank is empty. We're gonna shut that and pull the gray and that'll flush out the gray plus our hose. Ugh. All right, that is in and opening the gray. And the gray is away. Ugh. All right. Okay, there it is. That's done. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but yeah, we've got both tanks dumped. All we got to do is put the hose away and take the gloves off, sanitize my hands, back on the road. So when we get back to my parents' house and repark, uh, since we don't have water here on hand, we're actually going to uh, do a borax mix and we'll show you that when we get back. Okay, so we just got back, parked, unhooked, and leveled out. And what we're gonna do now, we normally, when we are dumping, the last thing we do before we leave the dump station, we put in this mixture of Dawn and borax into the water and then we dump it into our black tank. And it's really nice to do it at that point because when you're driving to your next destination or back to camp or whatever, it's in the black tank, smooching around, doing what it needs to do to clean it again. So um, we didn't get to do this at the dump station because the water was off and we didn't bring that much water with us to dump in there. So um, we're gonna do it now and we're just gonna let it sit and that should help. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put in a healthy dose of Dawn. And about a half a cup or so of Vorax. Fancy stir stick, stir it all up. And then we just dump it in. And then we'll go fill this up again with another gallon of water or so, dump it back in, and then we're good to go. That concludes this portion of the show today. <laughs> no, that's all we got. We just wanted to show you that I can dump. It's my first time doing it, and it's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So it's just kind of a yucky situation to have to deal with. But I need to know how to do it, and I hope, ladies, you've learned too that you can do it. Um, girl power. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ding the bell so you can see all the upcoming videos that are going to be coming out. We've got a lot planned for this winter. More to come on that later. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Give us a thumbs up. We'll catch you later.